friends, welcome back. I'm coming on to do a layout for the Shimmers Paints design team and I have this great color kits to show you guys. I've got uh, five paints, three dots, and one cut file. So to start, I, this one's called A Thrill on Mulberry Hill. I had just sprayed it so it's still wet, but it has got the most beautiful shimmer. The next color I have, it's called Moody Mauve. It's a coloring, so you're not gonna have the shine as much. It's going to be more straight color. Then my next color, it is called Antique Lace, and this is a Shimmers, and these are the original paints. They already have the liquid in them, and they are full of a really nice, nice saturation. Next is another shimmer, it's called Oh My Squash, and it's got just a little bit more of an orange tone in there. I mean, not orange at all. I would say pale cantaloupe, but, or the color of a squash. And then finally, I have a creamies called Sage It Isn't So. You just have to put a little bit of water in it, maybe 30 seconds before you're ready to work, and it will be ready when you are. Now those are super nice because if you like to travel with them, you don't have to worry about anything because they're dry like a watercolor. All right, so let's get this set up. Here are my three dots. I've got this nice floral, the middle one reads love, and then a nice plummy color tone with a cream floral. And then my cut file reads My Sweet Pea. And of course you can size the cut file however you want. And I just decided to do the go big or go home theory. Phew. Now, at this point I'm like, I think I want to go around my cut file with just the green. And then the inside bits I want to do with my liquids. Both of them are in the plummy tones and, you know, maybe add in a little bit of this shimmer. This is what I'm thinking to start. So I'm going to just use a bit of packaging that I have. And I do this a lot. Like I save all of this packaging that I get from different things and I like to use them as palettes because pretty much I don't then have much for cleanup. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray both of those colors down. It's all right if they mix a little bit, you know, we're, we're gonna have two different finishes, but the tones are perfect together. Then I'm just gonna go ahead with all my inside bits and squish them right on into the color. Now there's nothing fancy about this technique aside from the fact that you will get a random you know placement of color and you get some fun little drippy bits so now i'm going to go in with my two other gorgeous colors i've got that oh my squash color and the antique lace and i'm going to do splatty bits right on top of the wet paint so they're going to soak in a little bit with the wet paint and just kind of all firm up and become one now i'm not all that concerned that the um that the Oh My Squash is going to mix with the purple. The purple tone has had, you know, all of 30 seconds to start drying and I didn't have a super heavy coat of the liquid on there. So it'll work out and I'll end up with these gorgeous splatty bits that make me so happy. Now this isn't the most typical color palette, which made it really, really fun to work with. Next, I decided to brighten it up just a little tiny bit using some white splatters from my stash just to have a little bit of light come in. Not a big deal. It's just something that I've been really into lately. So I'm gonna grab my sage, it isn't so, and just paint those outside edges. Really simple painting, no big technique with this, just getting them on there. And now that this is all painted up, I'm using it for sizing a little bit, and I'm just going to tear off the bottom of this pink fresh paper. I thought it might be fun to have my cut file on the pattern paper and pretty much my photos will be down along the bottom. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, and curl up those edges a little bit. The white core will show just a little bit more. I'm deciding what I wanted to do with that torn piece, but I will be creating a bit of a border up top. Oh, and it's the, yeah, so I was showing you, it's my pink fresh collection. This one was called Life Right Now. So I'm gonna take that grayish tone, create a strip, and then with some pink cardstock I had handy dandy, I'm going to go ahead and create a scallop. So I have a little something something going on up top. I also punched out a couple of leafy shapes with that same cardstock so it made sense that I was using it. 
So up top, I did, I will, not yet. I, I was looking at it and I was like, you know, I really think I want to pop it up on a little bit of dimension. So I will do that and I'll get a nice little shadow. Mm -hmm. Now my three pictures, those are from my peonies garden. I have a peonies garden on the side of my house and I have white, light pink, deep, deep fuchsia, you know, every shade. I think that they come in at least in my area. So that for some reason, when I saw this title, my sweet pea, I'm like, oh wait, my sweet peonies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but you know, the creative mind does what it's gonna do. Now look at how well that cut file shows up because I have so much of just that, the, the plummy shades look almost like a solid. So that really showed up on the pattern paper. I was rather pleased with that. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I just have to faff around a little bit and get my photos in place. So I think I like where they are. Now I just have to decide where I'd like my dots to go. They are, you know, the, my third main element of this kit. I've got my mixed media goodies, of course. I've got my really fab cut file, and then I've got these cute little dots. And I decided I wanted to layer them. Now, the thing I like best about dots, aside from the fact that I might get, you know, like, a kickoff for what I want to scrapbook, you know, like an inspiration kind of thing. But I like that they have that little bit of shine so you have another texture that is on your layout. Oh, and then I was like, wait, I want something else. What do I want to use? And I remembered I had these pretty little studio, little, um, this little floral set that I got from She Loves Color, I believe. And I was like, let me use these giant daisies and a few of the other pieces to um yeah to decorate my page and it turns out this ellie studio set of die cuts uh there's a lot of that really pretty orchid color that's in the dots that's on the uh on the upper left and you're gonna see that in a moment there were a couple of cute little fishtail banner pieces that were in the kit and I thought I would just go ahead and use my tiny attacher and stick them together and use them as a, a little banner bit right at the upper left with that floral cluster I have going on. All of those little florals are from that same uh, embellishment pack. Embellishment? I don't know. Are they die cuts? ephemera, embellishments, I don't know. But in that pack of fun flowers, or circle bits, all kinds of things. But I did love that it brought the colors of my dots together with all of my mixed media colors. So I'm just gonna faff around a little bit, bend up all of my little floral centers so that we've got some nice little bits of dimension. I am using some liquid glue on this so that things will really stick down. Now I'm not having as much of a struggle because I'm not sticking right to my mixed media, but I figured it was a little bit of safety. So here are a few still shots, you guys. When you place your order, remember to put my name in the comments to score a bit of a freebie. And that is it. Bye for now, friends.